This is why I always start on the quick access pull tab when I make my videos. Here we go. 1.43. Do you see how fast that was? It's just, it's a lot quicker when your hand is already on the quick access pull tab and you're ready to go and you're not fumbling over something. I mean, I'm in that fight quickly. That was uh, 2.71 with a split of 0 0.50. I mean, just that in itself is so worth it. People are always asking, why do you put your hand on the on this little tab? It's just cheating. No, dude, I'm just, I'm quick. I'm aware of my surroundings, 1.54, so that if something were to happen, I'm taking that gun out. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the John and Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I wanna talk about the Tactical Modular Bag by 945 Industries. Now, I've touched on this bag quite a bit this year. I have used it on the range. I have carried it out with me when I'm out by myself or with my family. I gotta say, it is a very helpful and useful tool for someone uh, who doesn't wanna carry inside the waistband all the time. Before we get further into the video, this tactical fanny pack is by 945 Industries. And if you wanna get this tactical fanny pack, go to 945industries.com and use code JQ10 for 10% off. Now, the main thing that I wanna focus on today with this bag is this thing right here, the quick access pull tab. Now, if you're wondering what that means, it's pretty simple, quick access pull tab. You just pull on the tab, you can quickly access your firearm with ease. Now, the cool thing about this is that when you unfold or unzip the entire bag, you have both quick access pull tabs on both sides, which means if you're a left-handed shooter, you can use the left-handed pull tab. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But since I'm right-handed and I shoot with my right hand, I keep the quick access pull tab to the right open and over exposed like this. I get a lot of people asking when I do my videos, why do you always have your hand on the tab when you start? Or it's not realistic. Keep your hands up or down here or out in front of you, you know, when you're doing something. And yeah, okay, that's, I understand where you're coming from, how that would fit with your narrative. Let's say I'm out with my family, we're in Target and some guy is trying to start something up with me, right? I can see him at a distance and I'm like, okay, he seems to be somewhat of a threat. I say, hey fam, why don't you guys just like start walking, go this way. And like get away from whatever's happening, right? Now what I think in my head is, I'm aware of the guy. I'm gonna pull out my gun and start shooting. Heck no, that's, don't do that, don't do that. But what I am going to do is this, put my hand on the quick access pull tab and just start walking backwards. This position right here, my hand on the quick access pull tab, that's not threatening. That's not saying I have a gun, this is just, I'm putting my hand on my fanny pack. Now let's say he starts screaming and yelling profanities at me. He pulls out a gun or a knife. Well then, crap, that's where I'm here. Like I've identified the threat. He pulled out a gun or a knife and I say, dude, drop, drop the knife, man. Just drop the knife. Like, what are you doing? Stop it. Like turn around, stop what you're doing. You know, then I start giving commands and that's a whole different video too. But for the most part, putting my hand on the quick access pull tab is not a visible threat. So when I say I'm gonna put my hand up on here, that's because A, I'm aware of my surroundings, I know what's going on, and B, if a threat were to arise, I'm ready to go within literally a second. If the guy with the knife or the gun starts running after me and at me, well then I'm gonna pull out my gun like this and go to work. So that's why in all my videos, I start with my hand on the quick access pull tab. I want to continue to train my mind to be here in whatever scenario situation that is alarming or threatening to me, to people or to my family, I want my hand to be up here ready. Just, just here. This is again, like I said, not threatening. I'm just chilling. I'm seeing what's going on. Okay, I'm backing up. All right, let's go fam. Let's go this way. Okay, well, if they're slowly coming over here, I'm slowly unzipping this back here. Again, like I said, not an act of violence. It's not threatening. Nobody even knows what I'm doing. But as soon as I see them coming towards me, we're here. It's quick, it's easy to pull out, and it makes me that much more ready to get into the fight if I needed to. Now, if I don't need to get in the fight, well, I can just put it back in the holster, zip it up, go about my day. So that is why I stress in all my videos why I put my hand on the quick access pull tab. Now, I do wanna put out a disclaimer that I am pretty fast at taking out my gun from this modular bag, but that's only because I come out to the range and I practice like twice a week I do bring out this exact same setup, I throw over my shoulder, 
and I practice drills on the steel, I practice shooting, I practice the retention, taking it out, all of the above. So that way, if something were to happen, I rise to the level of my training, not to what I think is going to work when it happens, right? So if you do buy this bag, make sure to not just buy it and put it on and you're like, hey, I'm fine. If something were to happen, I, I can get it out. And you don't want to be like struggling for the zipper, right? Buy it, go to the range, train with it, see what works for you. The angle of how you pull out the gun, the angle of the Velcro and the holster. I, I had to make sure that every time I pull on the quick access pull tab, it wasn't uh, getting hung up on anything else. So it's just a smooth, quick action and I'm pulling out and I'm going to work. So that is why I stress on using the quick access pull tab or just laying my hand on the quick access pull tab. So there you go. That's my reasoning why I start up here on the quick access pull tab in all my videos. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure to go check them out at 945industries.com and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. With all of that being said, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.